Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. My name is Nisha, welcome. Today I wanted to bring a series that I've started many years ago and I'm like, how come I didn't do it as yet? I know we're in August. Yeah, how time flies and summer's almost done, but there's still a lot of hot summer days left. So this is my heavy hitters video. You know, I love my heavy hitters, okay? I am a kind of girl that if I'm wearing a fragrance, I want you to smell me. I want it to last. I want it to project. And heavy hitters for me, either could be the scent profile itself is like bam in your face or longevity. See, so yeah, it could be a number of things. And these are the ones that I chose because I think, in my humble opinion, these are heavy hitters. So if you want to see what I have, please stay tuned. Before we start, if you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I can't even talk. That subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'd be notified every time I upload a new video. Girl, what's wrong with you today? So grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's get to it. Now I know I did a lot of videos before and those still stand as heavy hitters, but I think there's some newer ones in my collection. I really hope I'm not repeating myself, but I don't think so because most of these are new ones that I've added in like the past year or so. So yeah, first of all, the heavy hitter. Ooh, kind of matchy, well, kind of, sort of, not really. Guys, Mango Nificent. This is absolutely beautiful. You guys know how I profess my love to this. I absolutely love, love, love this fragrance. It's mango and it's patchouli. It is out there, it's in your face, so either you love it or you hate it. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people with my same taste don't like it. But then a lot of you absolutely adore this. And I am one that adores this. Main players, as I said, mango and patchouli. But this smells divine. Oh my goodness. Every time I open this cover, I want to spray it all over. But if I spray this, I know it's game over because I can't smell nothing else. This would be on me until I shower again. So guys, definitely... A extremely long-lasting projecting beast of a fragrance and this is mango nificent from unique fragrances now i don't have anything else from this brand and i need to get some more so i'll be you know checking them out probably sampling some stuff to see if i like anything but mango nificent has my heart you guys know i've been talking about this for a very long time this one could be a little controversial because a lot of you might think it's not a heavy hitter but in my opinion when i wear this Personally, I can smell this for hours and people could smell it too. So to me, it's a heavy hitter. Now, it's not that beast mode where it's like going to go 10 feet away. No, but it does last a very long time on me and it projects and people can smell it. I can smell it because sometimes I go nose blind. And this is another mango scent. As I said, this is a summer version of it. This has mango, there's pineapple, there's lemon. There's some rum in this as well, giving it a slight boozy vibes. There's a uh, vanilla and broxidus and peony. There's some sandalwood, guys. This is gorgeous. I love it, and I think it's a heavy hitter. I would consider this a heavy hitter. No, there's different levels of heavy hitting, but baby, I think, as I said, in my opinion, this could be controversial, but for me, it's a heavy hitter. So I love Carioca Heart by Juice Box. It's beautiful. Now, this one is a kind of oldie, but goodie. Everybody was on this house when it just came out. And I still love quite a few from this house. And this is from Electimus. This thing will break down your shelf. It, it could use as a weapon. It could, listen, this bottle is heavy. But it's very beautiful, very classy. You know, very, very pretty. This fragrance is called Imperium. It is a very fresh bright scent it reminds me of a little bit of annie and a little bit of creed aventus had a baby this is what it's going to smell like this is very long lasting very unisex in my opinion woman or man could wear this fragrance without even thinking twice it just smells fresh it's bright it has that beautiful vanilla note but there's a little creed aventus kind of vibe to it this smells so good it lasts it projects and it's incredible for the summer. If you're looking for that kind of scent profile, definitely check this out because I think 
it's beautiful seriously it's beautiful some of you may think it leans a little bit masculine but honestly I can't see that at all I've heard people say that but in my opinion it's totally totally it's like you just smell good you smell fresh but you get that warmness a little bit from the vanilla guys absolutely gorgeous yo I didn't plan this but it seems like there's a lot of mango fragrances in here well you know I love mango but these mangoes that have accumulated this year yo these things are heavy hitters and another one is from Scentology and this is Synergy this to me last it projects and it is so damn sexy guys oh my goodness this has become a love I love 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 the saffron in this that to me gives this fragrance that sexiness there's mango there's pineapple there's a bunch of fruits in the opening yes you get that but the mango to me is a main player in this there's that saffron with a little bit of rose there's almond there's a little bit of amber to warm this up a little bit too there's some cedar and there's some moss. guys there's a bunch of notes but when I tell you this is good this is so so good I am loving this fragrance and this house as a whole as I said it's new to me this year I started playing with it and I have like four ready from the house but this synergy is so damn sexy and every time I wait I get compliments this thing lasts it projects it has depth it has freshness it has fruitiness it's sexy listen it ticks all the boxes okay it ticks all the boxes so get your nose on synergy you will not regret it I promise you this other one was love at first sniff for me the brand had sent this over for me to review and it was love 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 guys this is Roca from Christian Provisano first of all the packaging is absolutely beautiful just look at this how stunning it is and the scent matches the bottle this is ambery it's sweet it's fruity it's earthy let me give you the notes for this this is such a beautiful scent there's raspberry, there's saffron in this again. I swear saffron gives that sexy element. There's orange, there's rose, there's caramel, there's amber, it's warm, it's fruity. It is so, so good. This thing lasts so, so long. Guys, let me give you a little story. I wore this um, the beginning of the year. I went to this event in New York, the BDK event, and I wore this to go in the airport. I This was my travel scent. I spread this all over. When I got to immigration, the immigration officer is like, oh, what do you come here for? What are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. You know, they like to be all up in your business. So be like, oh, I'm going to a perfume event, whatever. He's like, oh, that's why I can smell you from the time you walked in. I'm like, oh, I said, check me now. I'm like, is it good? He's like, mm hmm. So guys, this smells so good. It got us compliments. And we're talking that was like probably like eight hours later or even more. Guys, this thing was pushing it was projecting and it smells incredible but nothing about this is offensive it's not like it's one of those choking fragrances that I'm going to be in the plane choking people out no it just leaves the most beautiful central it smells amazing it's inviting definitely check this one this one is Roca trust me it's gorgeous this other one I spoke about it but I haven't really gotten to really speak about it much this is from uh, the not vibrato Suspiro <laughs> and this is Contralto the yellow bottle is just giving it's so so pretty guys this fragrance no this is woody it's aromatic it's fresh this has notes of pink pepper there's orange blossom there's cloves there's juniper berry guyacwood chestnut there's cashmere and vanilla pear balsam this if I were to put it in one word it smells very very similar to Balda Freak from Byredo. Very similar, but this thing is on steroids. Just think about Balda Freak 10 times stronger. This thing smells incredible. It lasts. You smell this. You cannot go too heavy on this because it will choke you out. But it has that very, very same scent profile, but just amped up. It's everything is like like in your face. So this is a very strong fragrance and it's a beautiful heavy hitter for the summer okay so this is uh, contralto from suspiro definitely a heavy hitter
This is another new one to my collection. I had a decant of this and I fell in love and I had to have a bottle. This is the 50 ml though. There's a bigger one. I should have gotten that one instead, but bro, this is vanilla powder. I have not been disappointed by this house at all. I have two more from them, but I've, I've sampled a bunch. And this house has some beautiful, beautiful offerings. The way that these fragrances are composed, absolutely gorgeous, very, very beautiful. And this is vanilla powder. So you're expecting vanilla powder, all that, but this to me is more of a coconut scent. It's like a coconut powdery scent. But when I tell you this thing's strong, go easy. I had a little 10 ml decan, 10 ml or 5 ml. I use that sparingly. You notice my bottle is full still because I would only spray like four sprays and I love to spray heavy, but I cannot spray heavy with this because I will choke people out because people have been telling me how I smell. That's how I know it's strong because I'm thinking it's not a heavy scent profile. It's not heavy. Nobody's going to smell me. But every time I wear this, hours and hours of later people would come in my area and be like oh my god i can smell you what oh, smells so sweet but they said it's sweet i don't find it's a very sweet scent but they're like oh it's sweet and i smell coconut and it smells powdery so i get so much compliments on this it's so strong it's so strong do not go heavy on the trigger with this but when i tell you this is beautiful for the summer even for the fall and stuff i think i could get away with this oh it's such a beautiful scent do not be fooled it's a beast, okay? This is definitely a heavy hitter. I don't have to describe this fragrance again because this has been breaking the internet since it was released. I did a full review on this. I spoke about this many, many times. Guys, this is Valaya from Perfume Somali. All of their fragrances, in my opinion, well, not all, all, but most of the women's line, well, all the Delinas, this one, and there's another one that's not. Guys, this thing is a beast. The scent profile in this is very soft and delicate with that beautiful white florals. It's musky. It's a little bit woody. This is such a beautiful scent. It is gorgeous. But when I tell you this has a throw, whoa. I, well, I go in heavy with it to this one. I'm sure I'm going to, like, guys, I don't even, like, I go between this one and the dupe that I have from um, Afnan because they smell very, very similar. So sometimes I go in with some of this and just spray some more of that. But anyway, another story. Recently, my brother was visiting from New York and we went for breakfast. So they were seated before I got there. I just rushed in and I was wearing this fragrance. I went heavy on it. As I said, I mixed this one with the, the Middle Eastern one as well. Your girl walked into the restaurant. I did put something on my Instagram reel. As I sat down, two minutes later, this waitress, which the restaurant is huge, so she was like a good 10 feet away or even further. She came up to me. She's like, oh my God, I don't want to be a freak, a creep, not a freak, a creep. But as soon as you walked in, I can smell you way down there. She said, I could smell you filled up the entire restaurant. And you know, restaurant has that foody smell. You don't really smell like I don't smell fragrances in there anyway. She's like, you smell so good. What is it? The girl came to my table with a pen and a paper. She meant business. She wrote it down. I said, it's a little bit pricey. She's like, I don't care. It smells so good. You smell amazing. I'm sitting next to you right now. And it's like, wow, in my face. She said, you smell so, so good. So she was going off on this. And I'm sure she was going to buy it because, guys, it smells incredible and it filled the room. So this definitely is a heavy hitter and I love her dearly. Love, love, love. Oh my God, I saw Skin Potions came out with an oil for this. Skin Potions do even ship to Canada, guys. I need to get that lotion to match up with this and the oil and stuff. I cannot, I cannot wait. You imagine that layer together. Oh my God, that will be destructive. That would be insane. Okay, let's move on. This other one, listen. This house, Suspiro and Christian Provisano and Sales or Salas or whatever you call this, all of them last so long. I don't know what they put in this, but it lasts so long. Even the white one that I have in this, oh my word. Guys, this is from Sales or Salas. I don't know how you pronounce it. I say Sales, S-A-L-E-S. Salas, probably, I don't know. Amor Torito. This thing is deadly but it smells beautiful it's fruity and on me i get heavy coconut it's fruity it's ambery there's a slight like tonic vibe but not too much let me give you the notes so it opens up with lots of red fruits it has red red apple it has grapes it has uh, bergamot in the mid we have apricots violet lily of the valley in the base we have coconut benzoin and amber 
it is so so good as i said the coconut for me it's very very prominent on my skin together with those fruits this smells so good compliment getter long lasting amazing projection and sillage guys this is another crowd pleasing friends friends fragrance i cannot see somebody not liking this it's gorgeous so definitely get your nose on this i know these are quite pricey if you can get samples definitely sample but when i tell you they're beautiful and they're worth it because they last so long you don't need too much and everybody can smell you and everybody loves it this house doesn't make anything but heavy hitters i haven't smelled anything from this house that wasn't choking you out and guys hibiscus mahajat oh my goodness summertime in a bottle this thing will not give this thing will punch you it will uppercut you and it will drop kick you this smells so good though you don't need too much this is one fragrance i do not play with maybe three four sprays max because it begins to like and i try not to spray it in front here because when that thing starts coming up um, just, like you just keep it just hitting in your face it could give you a headache so I try to spray it more to the side, to the back, so that, you know, when you pass by, people pass, you can smell it, but it's not up front and center. That's a trick with heavy fragrances. If fragrances bother you a lot, try don't spray it in front, like where you're going to be sniffing it all the time. Spray to the back of your head or your arms, so, or, you know, somewhere to the back of you that you can get wafts of it when you move, but it's not in direct contact with your face, okay? So this is Hibiscus Mahajat. Guys, this is beautiful. It's juicy. It's fruity. It has, of course, hibiscus, rose. It has vanilla, leather. But the leather is not no skanky leather. Do not be afraid. It has a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of spices. It's beautiful. People compare it to Delena. I don't see it, to be honest. I don't. This is a fragrance on its own, and I love her. She's beautiful, and she is a beast. Beast, okay? Beast. I've had this fragrance for many, many years, and... I love it so much. Well, not many, many years, like probably three years. Guys, this is Nishani Hasivat. Now, this is marketed to men, but to me, this is totally unisex. I have been wearing it a lot. This is a big bottle, and it's reached like somewhere down here now. I can see the line somewhere down here. Everybody in my family loves this fragrance. I remember wearing it, I don't know if it was Mother's Day or something, but I posted it on my story. I put this on and went outside. Everybody was asking me what I was wearing. This thing was loud every time i turn you can smell me it was so beautiful like i keep getting compliments all my neighbors everybody was outside everybody was like oh my goodness what is that you're wearing it smells good every time the wind pass i can smell you la, la, la. They, they just keep going on that same day my daughter came and she's like mom what did you have on i want it she went and sprayed too then my husband wanted to go to work then my son i just put it out of my i took it off of my collection here and i rested upstairs where everybody could just I swear that week everybody was wearing this fragrance like it just had a moment that week this thing is a beast but it's so unisex it's so bright it's so fresh it's so summery that to me it's just gorgeous now some of you ladies might think it leans ever so slightly masculine but it's not to me it's not just wear it and enjoy it and see how the compliments keep coming in this is definitely a compliment getter and a beast another mango scent <laughs> no it wasn't planned okay i know i love mango but no it wasn't planned guys this is a mango aoud from gucci first of all the packaging this gradient bottle is stunning this fragrance definitely heavy hitter because we have mango guava it has neroli there's coconut ylang ylang osmanthus it has oud, there's vanilla and amber. Now you're hearing all these tropical notes, you're thinking this is a tropical fragrance. In my opinion, there's nothing tropical about this. You definitely get the mango, you get the sweetness. It's very sweet and it's decadent, almost syrupy, but you definitely get that oud. That oud is front and center, so if you don't like oud, trust and believe you need to try this. This thing is a beast. Now I wouldn't say it projects heavily like that it projects heavy but not as crazy as you know you might think but when i tell you this fills a room it fills a room once you're there you, people who come in naturally going to smell you it just fills the room it just envelops everything it's just beautiful it's sweet you will get compliments 
but the oud is heavy in this eh? to me in my opinion it's heavy in this but it smells so good it's sweetened up by that mango and like the coconut milk and all that it's just softened up but baby when i tell you this is a powerhouse she's a powerhouse because i remember wearing this on many occasions for long hours and we're talking about getting compliments hours later not when you just put it on hours later people coming in around you smelling you so this is uh, mango wood and baby she a powerhouse now I could have picked any fragrance from this house because they're all heavy hitters yes I'm not even scared to say that and you know which house I'm talking about Tiziana Terenzi. I could just close my eyes and pick any fragrance and tell you, baby, they're all heavy hitters. They're all long lasting. They all project. I'm talking about the ones I have in my collection, okay? And I have quite a few. Oh my God, this is your fruity dream. This is your summer vibe. It smells so good. It projects, it lasts. This is fruity. There's passion fruit in the opening. There is peach, pear, raspberry, cassis. There's a sand note, just like um, Tibet has a sand note, but it's it's not the same. I don't get that, the way it smells like that. Anyway, there's lily of the valley. There's a lot of musk in this, beautiful musk. There's sandalwood, patchouli, heliotrope, and all that, but this is a fruit bowl. It's a fruit bomb with that muskiness. You definitely pick up the musk, so, you know, be wary of that, but it smells so good. It's so... To me, it's well blended, it's smooth, it's loud, it's projecting, it's just tropical vibes. Guys, as I said, I could have picked anyone from this house, like literally anything. Any one of these Tiziana Terenzi's beast. We talk them beast mode. Ah, <sighs> one more. Just one more. One more, one more, one more. I have the original in this fragrance, and recently I got the extreme. Now what I like about this house, and I'll say it again, a lot of houses they make extrait and the thing don't even smell like the original fragrance. When BDK make an extrait, trust me, it's a deeper, heavy, darker version of the original. And this is what they did. When I went to that BDK event, I don't know, I smelled it before, but some reason, I sprayed it there and instantly I fell in love and I had to have it. Guys, this is Passissoire Extrait. This one means business, you know? The other Passissoire is like la la, fresh, girly this one means badass this one coming out in the night time she is the deep darker version of that she's the big sister she's the sexy one she comes out at night baby this smells so good and when i tell you it is a beast it projects and it will not leave your clothes when it gets there until it's washed talking from experience okay oh i love this so much yes i like the original but i'm not loving she as much but this one I really really love because I'm a heavy hitter kind of girl I le like it deep dark and sexy I like to punch you in your face when I come by you must smell me sometimes it gets me in a little bit of trouble but you know it is what it is guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments what are your heavy hitters what are your favorite heavy hitters for the summer you know i love me a good heavy hitter maybe you'll give me some recommendations so that i could try out guys and again thank you so much for watching and until next video be safe be kind and smell fabulous bye now